sound with it. It's your boy 318 DJ. I'm gonna react to another video. It's called How the Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think. This was actually requested in my comment section on my last video by Stevie Bruden. He commented, you know, if you guys want me to react to videos, just comment, let me know. I got y'all, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna jump right into it. I never seen this video before, so this is my first time reacting to it. So I hope it's a pretty dope video. This is a real life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website. And the universe is way bigger than you think. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away, 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, <laughs> and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't even distance, know that. Earth, Twelve humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away yeah, really that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of people humanity's comment. greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them, and if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, mm. Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon mm. were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Who? Render instant communication in the event I take space 20 minutes when we zoom out even further away we can find the Voyager Sometimes 1 like space probe which is the furthest away man-made man object from Earth 20 minutes reply 15 minutes not a big take from the Earth AU meaning astronomical unit which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is at some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's Damn, us. That's On crazy. It, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. Wow, they, that's all crazy. Our joys and that's sufferings, crazy. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every it was hunter taken and every forager, far back, every hero far away, and coward, and it looks every like a little and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on That's a boat of dust crazy. suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling Man, that is crazy. I don't know about every that. single second, that is but crazy. even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. 
To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even Quite a few further, flat. we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy. Yeah, it's going to take a lot right of gaze. Here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware I'm of humanity's this. presence. I it's do believe in aliens. silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There no are judgment. over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least yeah, 100 man. other groups That's of galaxies crazy. just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which that together contain more crazy, stars bro. than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The that distance from crazy. Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 so billion light like years across. Fake. What's perhaps Literally even more space. interesting, however, in the is what actually lies beyond we the observable so universe. We have so many people living Keep on Earth. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or yeah. ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what evil. we can currently see of the entire universe. Well, I'm kinda glad According to the theory of cosmic inflation that, that was proposed by Dr. Alan in a way we want to. if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second then again, after sad, the Big Bang, us to, and with the assumption you know, that the size the of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto. See, but that's what I just said. The light bulb, like a we're little totally spit unaware that and Pluto existed universe. outside of it. Crazy. And that's a similar situation to this. I kind of knew that, but so I didn't know, like, 
but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. I just wanted somebody to actually go this back in depth and detail with it. By that was crazy, man. That was a dope video. I love learning new things. That was a dope video. Real Life Lore. That was a dope video. I love watching uh, videos like that. Like I said, I love, love learning things. Shout out to Stevie Bruton for bringing that to my attention. If you guys want me to react to any other videos, just leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe. You know, that was crazy, man. I like that. I, I got to watch more videos like that, man. Um, you know, leave a comment, man. Let me know what you guys want me to react to next. I'm out.